Coming up right now, new ways to boost your mood and drop pounds. The seven superfoods you need to add to your diet this week. Also coming up, kitten fishing. It's a new online dating term. We will explain what it is and why it catches so many people off guard. And later, we've got the scoop on how you can reset your metabolism with an easy makeover. Our registered dietitian with the six steps to a body reset. We've got your life and style guide from A to Z starting right now on Life Love Shopping. Welcome to Life Love Shopping, your life and style guide from A to Z. I'm your host, Andrea Jackson. We start with the superfoods, seven to be exact. If you've tried cutting down on coffee, adding minutes to your workout, or getting more sleep, and you're still overwhelmed with anxiety, it's time to take a closer look at your diet. Researchers say your gut health could be tied to your feelings of worry and concern, even inflammation in the body. Here are the seven superfoods experts say can help counteract stress and reduce damage to the body cells. Eggs, blueberries, hummus, yogurt, peppermint tea, salmon, and dark chocolate. Adding just a couple of those to your diet could really change things up. A trip to the spa can certainly help take the edge off, but it can also be very pricey. Did you know some of the best beauty treatments can be found in your very own kitchen? Celebrity makeup artist and lifestyle expert Michelle Phillips shares her secret facial and body mask recipes. <music> Not only is breakfast the most important meal of the day, it can also be used as one of the most important components in your beauty routine. Coconut oil, eggs, oatmeal, who knew all of these foods could actually be used to make beauty treatments? These natural ingredients can be used to achieve healthier, hydrated skin, as well as shinier, silkier hair. The best thing is that you don't have to look too far for these ingredients, because they're probably already sitting in your kitchen cabinet, fridge, or even on your counter from this morning. Today I'm going to show you how to make a face mask and a body scrub that I've used for years that calls for just a few basic ingredients. All you need is one half cup of oatmeal cooked, one egg white, and one tablespoon of honey. Oatmeal is really good for sensitive skin and it's also really soothing to the skin. And honey has antibacterial and antioxidant properties, which is perfect for achieving that glow and also nourishing the skin. Now the reason for the egg white is to keep the, all of the ingredients together. Once you apply the mask to your face, make sure you avoid your eye area. And you can leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. And all I do is remove by rinsing with a soft washcloth and warm water. That's it, fresh and clean, moisturized skin. For glowing healthy skin on your body, it's really important to exfoliate at least once or twice a week. I use my homemade body scrub. All you need to make this scrub is either olive oil or coconut oil and sugar. Now, what you'll need is one cup of sugar and a half cup of the oil. Sugar crystals are great to gently exfoliate your skin and buff away dead skin cells, and olive oil or coconut oil leaves your skin feeling soft and smooth. A girlfriend of mine said, hey, does this you know, sugar clog your sink or your shower when you're taking a shower, and it doesn't. That will dissolve, the sugar will dissolve. However, there is something I do wanna warn you about. If you keep this around your tub or your shower area, because there is sugar in it, you can attract some bugs. To avoid doing that, put your um, sugar scrub into a Tupperware and just make sure it's airtight and close it up. And you could use this for several months. Now let me know your favorite at-home beauty remedies or maybe how my recipes worked out for you. And please don't forget to leave your comments in the section below the video. Thank you again for joining me for another episode of Michelle Phillips Beauty. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and sign up for my email on my website, michellephillips.com, so you don't miss an episode. And join my online community on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Michelle, thank you. Shellfish are packed with incredible nutrients like iron and omega-3s. They are also a rare non-plant source of vitamin C. Here's Susie the foodie with Have You Ever Tried? 
Have you ever tried coquina clams? They're really small, but they have a lot of flavor. I cooked the clams in white wine, and then I made a quick ricotta gnocchi with egg yolks and Parmesan cheese. I cleaned the countertops before adding flour. Then I rolled out the gnocchi dough and formed it into the shape of shells, frying those in brown butter. And then I made a creamy corn sauce with a little bit of white wine that I blended and then strained. I really wanted this to kind of be like a clam chowder vibe. I garnished with sage, bacon, brown butter, chives, and red micro orchids. Susie, thank you. For more information on Susie, you can find her on Facebook and Instagram at Susie the Foodie. Researchers think they might have discovered the perfect time of day to work out if you're trying to lose weight. Getting your exercise on first thing in the morning is the best way to lose inches and pounds. Scientists studied mice that exercised early and noticed they had greater success with breaking down fat and a higher metabolism. Yes, we know it's a study with mice, but the Swedish brains behind the study say it could prove valuable to humans. And Drug use to manage epilepsy might hold the cure for autism-like symptoms. Researchers studied mice using a drug called Lamictal. Experts believe the drug works by reversing changes in brain cells caused by a genetic mutation. Lamictal was able to minimize social and behavioral problems linked to autism. So far, the studies have been limited to mice. Experts say more clinical studies are currently in the works. If paying big bucks and trying a risky beauty procedure isn't in your playbook, maybe the perfect B&B &B cream is. Here's the host of We Gotta Talk and beauty insider Sunny Abada. So lately I have been experimenting with more of a natural makeup look. I feel like since hitting 40, my makeup just sits on my face really weird. Regular foundation is just not my friend. I've been obsessed with the Dr. Lara Devgan BB cream with SPF 44, and this is a whole face with just that as the base. And I wanted to show you guys how natural it looks, but still gives that sort of polished finish. So I did the whole shebang here. I have on the eyeshadow, the mascara. I always add a little cream blush, which is my new best friend and blend it in really well and add a touch of concealer under the eyes finish it with a little bit of powder and the final look is actually really natural. I find that I get coverage where I need it, but it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't settle into my lines and I just love it. This has been a must have product for me. For more information on Sunny, you can find her on Instagram at Sunny Abada and also check out her podcast at WeGottaTalk.com. Stay with us much more ahead on Life Love Shopping, your life and style guide from A to Z. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. If you live it, you love it, or you buy it, we talk about it. And something we love or hate, many of us do, buying a used car. It's something most of us have faced at one time or another. And if you've been in the market for one, you know the prices for secondhand cars are sky high. Here's the car coach Lauren Fix with Car Smarts. Used car sales at the lowest point is now the best time to buy a car? Many people have been waiting to buy a used car. Prices were high and supply was low. And then the Fed raised the prime rate from 4.25% to 4.5%. And at the end of last year, they plan to raise it to 5% for this year. So as a result, the average new auto loan interest rate is about 8.02% as of December. And that's up from 5.15% in December of 2021. Cox Automotive says that the average new car loan is around $785 a month. That's up 29% while the average lease payment is $661 per month, and that's up 33% from March of 2020 levels. The average transaction price of new vehicles is about $49,507 by the end of last year. That's up 5% from 2021. Now add in the chip shortage, which is still not resolved. New cars and truck prices fell about 0.1% in December versus November, and the Labor Department reported that this is good news. The bad news is that the Federal Reserve's aggressive quarterly hikes in base interest rates can make your second most expensive purchase as hard to achieve as buying a house. 
The used vehicle market has stabilized, resembling the pre-pandemic normal with inventory holding steady and prices dipping from their record highs. And this is according to Cox Automotive's analysis of auto available inventory data. Used vehicle prices are also on a decline and the average list price was $27,143 at the end of December 2022, which has shown some year end strength. If you're looking to buy a new car, SUV, or truck in 2023, whether it be new or used, your prospects for the right vehicle purchase will be a little different than that of the past. Cox Automotive's 2023 Industry Insights and Sales Forecast Report warns that low-income and subprime consumers will find it nearly impossible to obtain car loans because the auto loan interest rates are at a 20-year high. Still, even with high average prices of $65,000 for an electric vehicle, EV sales in the U.S. soared in 2022, with many new models and higher interest rates. EV shares of the total market hit 5.8%, up from 3.2% in 2021. Tesla is still far and away the EV market leader and overall luxury vehicle leader. According to Kelly Blue Book, estimates but Tesla's share of the EV market continues to tumble, falling below 60% for the first time in Q4 of 2022. Even with rapid electric vehicle growth, roughly 94% of the new vehicles sold in the U.S. last year had a gas tank in the back and a combustion engine up front. Now, there is a huge EV push from the federal government, but the market is long away from becoming an all-EV market. That's what the federal government wants. Cox Automotive is forecasting 1 million electric vehicle sales in the U.S. for the first time ever in 2023, but that depends on you and what you choose to buy. This would push the EV shares even higher. Now, with the new government-backed incentives and fresh products set to launch, passing 1 million is all but guaranteed, according to them. That was Lauren Fix for Car Smarts. For more information on Lauren, check out her website, carcoachreports.com. It's a hot summer day and you spot a pet trapped in a park car. What should you do? The Humane Society offers crucial advice on how to handle the situation. First, assess the pet's condition. Look for signs of distress like excessive panting or exhaustion. Next, try to locate the car's owner and ask nearby stores to make an announcement. If immediate action is needed, call 911. Remember, leaving a pet in a hot car can be a death sentence. And in some states, it can come with felony charges and prison time. Let's keep our furry friends cool and protected during the summer heat. We're back right after this. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. Registered dietitian Megan Hansen recently joined the Daily Flash to talk about the metabolism makeover. Host Raisa Pascal talked with Hansen about her six steps to achieving optimal health, including blood sugar control, muscle development, and movement. We well, want to talk about movement. So does, is that separate to building muscle? Tell me about that. Yeah, it is actually. And a lot of people look at movement as like, okay, this is just exercise. No, when I talk about movement, I'm not talking about just exercise or like moving our bodies more to burn more calories. I'm really interested in movement because when we move more at, you know, when we're especially in our 20s, 30s, 40s, it, it doesn't really matter, but it helps us to move more as we age. And Oftentimes when we get up into our like 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s even, we start to lose a lot of mobility and then that makes it really difficult to maintain a healthy weight, maintain good metabolic health. And, you know, I think we all want to be able to move more and feel really good as we age. So that's why I include movement here. Yes, it's great for our metabolism now, but even more so as we age. I think that's so important. A lot of us live sedentary lifestyles or have remote jobs and we're not getting out and moving a lot. So I time. Think it's important to recognize that. We also want to talk about stress management. I think a lot of us are dealing with stress these days. So, so how can managing that help with the metabolism? Yeah, well, I like to think of our bodies as like a stress bucket. We can fill this bucket with all of life's stressors and the body will be able to handle whatever fits in that bucket. And we were made to experience stress. So it's not like we're not supposed to be stressed, but most of us overfill that bucket. And I think we all kind of know what that feels like when we start to overfill it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, what happens is, is when we are stressed, we have a rising cortisol and then the cortisol falls. That's the normal response. But when we start to overfill that bucket, it doesn't fall. It just stays up here. 
And that can lead to, you know, damaged blood vessels, increased risk of heart attack and stroke, but also, you know, insulin resistance, high blood sugar levels, increased belly fat. And it makes it, that can make it really difficult to lose weight. So it's hard to kind of like link stress with weight management. But in our practice, we see that oftentimes is the number one cause of weight loss resistance. That's amazing. The number one cause you say. Yes. Stress. In some way, shape or form. And stress comes in many shapes and forms, but yes, the fire. Wow. This has been so helpful, Megan. Thank you for joining us. For those of you at home, if you want to learn more about Metabolism Makeover, please visit metabolismmakeover.co. Attention shoppers, here's a great holiday tech deal. Looking for some savings this holiday? Then look no further than Verizon. Get Apple One, Walmart Plus, and the new Netflix Max bundle. Each bundle is only $10, prices you can't get anywhere else. You probably have a few subscription services you're paying for, and you could be missing out on savings offered by your carrier. With a Verizon calling plan, you can save on more than 20 subscriptions at a discounted rate, saving anywhere from $2 to $20 a month on each subscription. And when you switch to Verizon, the savings can really add up. Get the iPhone 15 Pro, iPad, and Apple Watch SE on them and only at Verizon. Not sure if you're ready to switch? Try Verizon for 30 days. No strings attached. All of this can be found in Verizon's new My Plan, getting you exactly what you want while you only pay for what you need. To learn more, go to verizon.com slash holidaymediahub. Check this out. We've got some great ways your kids can express their creativity. Here's more. I love to see my kids color and create, especially when it's mess free. Crayola Color Wonder only reveals color on specially formulated Color Wonder paper, not on skin or clothing with the special Color Wonder markers to paper technology. The all new fingerprint activity book prevents dry up so kids can paint again and again. The coloring pages and marker set has a unique storage solution and activity pads are perfect for on the go entertainment for holiday travel. Available in licenses like Disney Princesses and Bluey. For more mess free gifts, visit Crayola.com. If you're trying to find more ways to burn calories and keep moving, experts say you can scrub away the pounds. Researchers gave 10 professional cleaners Fitbits and five houses to clean. They discovered that scrubbing the kitchen for 50 minutes burns more calories than ballroom dancing or a bike ride during the same amount of time. So here's your scrubbing by the numbers, everybody. Kitchen, 276 calories. Bathroom, 173 calories. And the bedroom, cleaning, 154 calories. However, don't expect it to help you lose weight unless you're adding squats and leg lifts to your cleaning routine. Stay with us, much more ahead on Life Love Shopping. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. If you live it, love it, or buy it, we talk about it right here on the show. We love our pets, but would you be willing to spend five figures for their comfort? One guy from California is giving new meaning to being in the doghouse. Check out his $20,000 canine crash pad. Dom, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Charlie, are you ready? Woo, woo. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh. So this is the living room. I love this. Go dog, go. I yeah. See. Charlie, do you like it? Do you like your living room? Wait, we should show her upstairs. She, she hasn't even seen upstairs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yo. There we go. Charlie, is your bed comfy? Bed down. Is your bed comfy? Aww. It's now settling in that we did this for a dog. <laughs> oh, sweet Charlie. Well, YouTuber Brent Rivera from California built his dog Charlie, a dream home he says cost more than $20,000. Rivera built it for her first birthday. He purchased most of the building materials from Home Depot. Brent also says Charlie's dog house is fully furnished with couches, TVs, and a mini fridge. His backyard even has a toy fire hydrant and an automatic ball launcher. I'm thinking the house is more for the friends as opposed to Charlie, but that's just me. If you have ever spent time on a dating app, you've likely encountered a date who looks much older than their profile picture, and it happens a lot. So much so, it now has its own label, kitten fishing. The phrase refers to people who use photos that date back more than five years on their profile page. One study found nearly 40% of men and 15% of women use a photo from their past. So if you're on a dating app, your profile picture should represent what you would look like on a date today, not five 
or 10 years ago. You might land a first date with an old photo, but the chances of getting a second date could be slim to none. Social media fans are at odds over a German tattoo artist's work. Some are praising the ink for its abstract beauty, while others are baffled by the design and its hefty price tag. A 21-year-old tattoo artist based in Berlin is the guy behind the design. His video shows the work in progress, resembling flowers that stem from a scribbled section. These kinds of tats can cost around $1,000. This one was about $700. US that does it for Life Love Shopping, your life and style guide from A to Z. We'll see you next time. Be good, everybody.